is the little voice in your head holding you back, maybe creating interferences, preventing you to have fun, to give your best when you are under pressure. Today, I want to address what can you do for your mental preparation. My name is Claude Webster, and this is the first video of many possible tools you can use to really access the present moment more easily, to sharpen your focus, your concentration. I like to compare the mind to a muscle. We know that physically, in order to be at our best, to use our potential, our energy, we need to move. The body needs exercises. Everybody will do it differently. Your demand on what being in shape is will be different for, from one person to another. But the idea is we need to move regularly to be in shape. To use your mind at, at its best, you need to exercise it regularly. It will be like the scales and vocalize for your brain. For some people, the tricky part of this is the fact that the knowledge of it is not enough. For example, to know how, how to eat healthy won't do you any good unless you apply it. So those mental, those mindful exercises are the same. My experience of guiding many people through it is that some exercises will speak more to you. That's why I have prepared many, so that you can find which one works for you, so that you can make it fun and pursue it. The goal of those concentration exercises or of those little meditation is not to control your thoughts. It's more to change your relationship with your thoughts, the way you react to your thinking process. Some people think that meditation, that the goal of meditation is to be calm, is to stop thinking. Actually, it's not. The goal is to be present, to be aware of the present moment. Each time you will bring your thoughts back into the moment, you are building the mind muscle that you need to build. It's normal to, be, to have thoughts. You will sit, do the concentration exercises that I will guide you through, and your mind will wander and you will bring it back. Your job is to bring it back here. Very often, at the beginning, we use a support. We'll bring it back to the breath, to the body. Very often, at the beginning, I prefer counting. Counting becomes the support, one of the many support you can use. I usually propose to do maybe two to five minutes at, at first. To do it regularly, every day. Maybe take what I call the 21 days challenge to do it for three weeks in a row and then decide if this is good for you. Consistency, doing it regularly, is more important than to do it a long time. By building it and also by exploring which type of exercise suits you the most. So now, let me guide you through this first exercise, this first tool for your mind. It's a mindfulness first step. 